My name is Zool, and welcome to my guide on how to install mods for the Elder Scrolls Oblivion using Mod Organizer. Welcome to another episode of the Oblivion for Mod Organizer tutorial series. In today's episode, we're looking at user interface modifications. These mods include things such as adding a mini-map to improve the way we navigate, improving the inventory screen, improving the skill screen, and improving the map. We're going to be making the game look a lot better on PC, because Oblivion had a very console-focused user interface that didn't quite take things up as well. We're going to be fixing that. We're also going to be adding this great map that you can see right here on the screen now, and maybe a couple of other things things, so please stay tuned for the tutorials. Without further ado, let's get started. The first mod that we're going to install is Darnified UI, the quintessential user interface mod for Oblivion. But we can't install this in the typical way, because normally it comes in an OMOD package, and as we've discussed before, that does not work very well with the mod organizer. Once we're on this mod's page, go down to the optional files and download this 7-zip archive manually. Drag that archive to your desktop and extract it into a folder. And what you're going to need to do is open up said folder and you'll get something like this. From here, we're going to make a couple of changes. The first thing we're going to do is open up the custom files folder and get the empty.xml. We're going to copy this. From here, we're going to go back out into the main file. We're going to open up menus and then we're going to open up generic. From here, you may see a quest added.xml. And this is that quest pop-up that you see all the time. I hate that, so I'm going to go ahead and paste ex empty XML here. I'm going to select quest added.xml. I'm going to press F2. I'm going to press Control C to copy that name. And then I'm going to delete this XML file. I'm then going to go to empty XML. I'm going to click F2, and I'm going to click Control V to add quest added there. And that's going to empty that out and not show up anymore and annoy me. I also like to add custom fonts when I'm using this, so I'm going to open up the custom files again and go into the fonts folder. Now, as you may have seen in my previous video, I am a big fan of the King Things Exeter fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and select the darn King Things Exeter.fnt and the TEX file and copy those. I'm then going to move out to the main folder and go into the fonts folder. Folder. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and paste the new custom fonts in here. After that, we are pretty much done. I'm going to close out of this folder. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit F2 and give it a bit of a better name. I'm just going to call it Darnified UI. And then I'm going to add this to an archive. So I'm going to right click, go to 7-zip, and I'm going to add to archive. Now it'll just take a few moments and compress that to an archive. Now that that's compressed to an archive, we can add it to Mod Organizer. In order to do that, open up your Mod Organizer for Oblivion, click on this little button right here and click the install mod button. From here you are going to select the archive that we just created, so not this one with the weird name but the one that's just called darnifiedui.7z and hit open. From here we're going to select a manual install and we're going to set this as the data directory. Everything is going to look good and we're going to hit OK. And with that, our Darnified UI has been installed and you can go ahead and activate it right here in the main pane of Mod Organizer. But we're not completely done yet because we're going to have to change the INI as well and there's two ways to do this. If you head back over to the Darnified UI mod page, you will see a fonts file right here. This is something that needs to be added to the INI. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can do this, which will give you the normal fonts, or if you'd like the custom fonts, I will throw a link to those in the description. What you're going to do is copy the thing from the description, go to the any editors, click anywhere, hit control F, and type in the word font. Click the next button, I think you have to click it a couple of times, until you get this fonts section here. After that we're just going to select this all, paste the section that we have here, so we don't need that. As you can see, I just put a little comma here to black out the original fonts and threw in the King's Exeter fonts. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and save and close and the fonts will be correct. And now when we launch the game, we will have Darnified User Interface. Now that we've installed Darnified UI, we need to move ahead and get our map mods installed. But before we do that, we are going to need to install an OBSE plugin menu queue. Head over to the link in the description to menu queue and click on the file section of that page. From here, you are going to need to manually download version 16b. Keeping in mind that since it's an OBSE plugin, it will need manual installation. Once menu queue is downloaded, extract it using an archiving tool like WinRAR or 7-zip and then open it up. From here, you will see a data folder an OBSC folder and a plugins folder, which will contain all of this stuff here. So as you can see, there's a coma DLL, the menu queue DLL, and then inside are some different settings. 
what you're going to want to do is select everything in here and copy it. So just select it all like this, click copy, and then open up your Oblivion folder. Keeping in mind this is normally located in Steam, Steam Apps Common Oblivion. From here, open up your data folder, your OBSC folder, and your plugins folder. Paste all of these files in here. Menu queue is now installed. Now that menu queue has been installed, we are going to go ahead and install the dynamic map mod. Head over to the file section of that mods page and download it with your manager. Once you've done that, you can just go ahead and open it up with mod organizer. Double click on dynamic map in the download section here, and you'll be asked if you'd like to use the Bane installer. Go ahead and click yes. From here, you're going to need to make sure you have the core selected and select one of the following options. I personally really like the elven maps, although it's up to you what you would like to choose. And after that, just go ahead and click OK. The next mod we're going to install is another map mod. However, this map is a colored Shivering Isles map, and it looks really cool. Head over to the file section for this mod and download the file with Manager. Once you've done that, head over to the Downloads tab of your mod organizer, double click. You can see there's a couple, there's two different versions here, each with its own data folder. So you're going to need to make sure you click the manual button and select the version you'd like. I personally prefer the visually divided version, so I'm going to set that as my data directory and then click OK. The next mod that we're going to install is a minimap mod. This is a bit of a controversial choice, but I am a big fan of the minimap mod for Oblivion, so we're going to go ahead and install it in this guide. Go ahead to the file section of this mod page and download this file with Manager as well. While we have Nexus open, you can also go ahead and download the Skill Perks Description mod with Manager right here. Uh, it is also linked in the description. Once both those files are downloaded, we can just go ahead to our Downloads tab in Mod Organizer and install them, making sure we always hit Manual just to make sure that everything's working properly. Next up is the next mod. Click on that and then make sure to set your data directory appropriately and then everything will be good to go. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like and leave a comment if you'd like to see another video in this series. Perhaps we can tackle things like making the faces look better, maybe adding some textures. I'm not quite sure yet, but if you're interested, drop a like and a comment on this video for me to continue the series. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out some of my other series. I have a mod organizer for Fallout 3 series, you know, you can go check that out. Anyways, uh, that's about it. I'm bad at outros, so I'm just going to end it now. Enjoy the music. I've been Zool. Have an excellent day.